uh, why are humans, everything in nature in fact, naturally drawn to symmetry? Um, we are, nature is, and so it's not surprising that in our company logos they often have a lot of symmetry in. So you're going to have to try and reproduce some well-known logos, uh, in this case Coco Chanel, uh, from a fragment of that logo using reflections. On the last one you're you may be asked to do use reflect rotations as well and maybe in the extension section um, at the top here if you're using Internet Explorer please use these links because you won't be able to see this applet uh, and if you're using iPad or iPhone it might be easier to use that link also um, so I've got a scroll bar here so I'm going to scroll down to the bottom to enter uh, where I think I need to place my mirror to start reflecting this fragment to make that logo so I'm going to go for y equals minus x plus 3 to begin with there's my mirror line and then I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to choose this option here fourth one from the right reflect the object in a line so and I have to click on the object first so I'm going to click on the object that I want to reflect that happens sometimes you've got to be really precise with your selecting so let's try that again so wait till it glows a bit like that one and then same wait for it to glow on the line let's try that again, I want that object selected in this line and there we go, let's delete that point that's appeared, so if I right click I can then delete anything ok, and I'm not quite right, and obviously I didn't want to be because I don't want to show you so um, you have to work out where that line should be to start making it look like this logo um, if you want to change your attempt you just right click on that line and delete it and enter a new equation can you work out the equations that go with that? once you've finished all of that um, there's some extensions here for you, find your own picture, use a photo editor, fireworks etc, erase the background, take a small fragment uh, and then give it to your partner and see if they can rebuild uh, the original logo. Um, little question here for you to have a look at, what happens when you resize an image to those lines of reflections that you're going to need, have a read in depth in your own time. And then the last challenge question is why don't you make your own brand symbol. So in the first challenge you found some well known logos and you made your own fragment in a photo editor to give to your partner to try and remake. Uh, and in the last one you can make your own one a bit like uh, this one here, student made uh, as a homework. Uh, they've just used one shape there and then lots of reflections to make this quite attractive logo. Um, so have a go. And last thing to say is you've also got a worksheet there in the resources section that looks a bit like this if you want to try and work out what those lines of reflection are using paper best of luck